Um, this is the uh, the headlights. Um, it has a connector here, which uh, has the CAN bus and the power supply for the for the headlight, which is uh, this plug here. Um, and then this other plug, which is used for uh, connecting to the spotlight and the side um, the side indicator. So it's much much easier to to install. I think there is very little wiring. It's just two plugs. And the um, and the one that connects to to the um, uh, to the space to the, ex the external lights. Um, this so I'm about to test. I'm about to test the um, the both headlights at the same time. Just now I did a quick test and uh, I found out that I had the, the wires for the high beam and the low beam back to front. So uh, it turned out that when I tested it, the high beam would run on one side and the low beam would run on the other side, which was kind of a bit funny. But um, uh, so we'll, we'll run a test now with, uh, hopefully I got them right, so we can see how it all works. Um, so now I'll turn the uh, the spotlights off so that we can get a better better view. <coughs> um, I am using I am using a um, this is a this is a canvas. Uh, extension lead that I have actually made so that I can actually um, connect an external uh, board like this board uh, which has got some switches so that I can turn things on and off uh, remotely so I can actually watch what's what is actually doing so obviously everything is being controlled via just uh, four wires you know two for power and two for canvas so when I plug this in so now the um, the low beam is uh, both the same. Um, so I'm not sure if the camera is going to uh, be able to look at things correctly. So I can control the intensity of the lights. So you know this this is a pot which gets sent into a can message that I. Uh, tells the uh, the headlights um, how bright to to illuminate. So obviously I can control the intensity for the low beam, um, uh, and the uh, intense same for the high beam. Um, the camera might actually adjust, so I'm not sure how well it's going to look. I also have the uh, let me see the angel lights or the driving lights. And I can also control the um, the the LEDs on the the LEDs on the bottom. So far, I'm using two bits to control those ones, um, which I actually in, uh, put in together with the um, with the. Oh, you can't see it on the video. Let me see if I can focus it. Yeah, so you can see the two the the, the bottom the bottom lights. Or maybe if I make it less bright, it might actually look a little bit better. Yeah, so you can see I can control the uh, the bottom lights. So the way it's work, the way I got it working is that um is um is an eight bit number. It's an eight bit number that I sent for intensity, but the um, the controller only has a five bit resolution. So the intensity is only is only um, five bits. So what I've done so far is I've put, I used the lower four bits to actually control the um, the bright the which um, which one of the four LEDs are actually on. Um, I can actually the controller can control each LED individually, but since I've actually got to try to reduce the number of messages that I send to make the the, the whole thing easily, 
then I have one message that will control all of the headlights and the intensity is the, the, the which which LEDs are turned on is encoded in those two bits. So obviously I've only got um, four possible options. So that's you know uh, LED one, LED um, one and two, uh, <clears throat> one two and three, <clears throat> and one two three and four. Um, <clears throat> now I also have the indicators. Um, they follow the same the same sort of idea. Um, so I can get the running I can get the running effect by uh, increasing the, the 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 first two bits and then eventually turning the um, the 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 end the end bulb on. And I can do the same for the other one. Um, now there are three ways that I can control the headlights. Uh, one way is there is a, one single message that controls all of the headlights in the car, which includes the brake light, the <coughs> tail lights, the you know the uh, uh, the uh, let me see, I've got a, yeah, the uh, these are the uh, this one turns on the um, the the tail lights, which all also run the uh, the two original lights that used to come on at night. Um, the other, the, um, the second option is I've got one message for each side of the car. So um, the left side of the car or the right side of the car. So I can basically send uh, one message that controls the, the headlights, all of the lights on the right hand side of the car and all of the lights on the left hand side of the car. So I can uh, effectively uh, change the brightness of say the high beam on the right hand side to a different value than the, the high beam on the on the left hand side of the car. Um, this is still also uh, a somewhat limited um, way of doing it, mainly to ensure that I don't, fly, I don't have to send too many messages. And the third method is I can actually access each board individually. Um, so for, so um, I'm using the same board for the, um, for the headlights as for the taillights which means that I could turn each bulb in the entire car individually. Uh, so I could do something like the, you know, the Tesla, um, the Tesla party thing. I could move all the windows up and down, turn all the lights individually, you know, change the intensity of every, every light bulb in the, in the whole car. Um, so if I ever decide to spend the time to, um, to write the software, maybe I will consider that. Now, I don't have enough buttons on my little test jig here to, to turn on the, um, the spotlights, uh, which I can also control the intensity of. So uh, I'm building a, a one with more buttons so that I can actually try different things. Um, now, the, um, the, uh, the indicators now run all at the same time. Uh, so, so all the indicators now are actually running on canvas. Pretty much, all of the headlights in the all of the lights in the car are now run on canvas, and um, so and brake light. I think yeah, brake light. Uh, I think I have the reverse lights, um, the tail lights. So I've got my little extension cord here so that I can actually walk around the car. And um, and um, look and make sure that everything works correctly from different angles. So obviously I've got the uh, so tail lights, um, brake light. Uh, that's the reverse light, and obviously the indicators. Um, the the bumper bar still has got light bulbs, which uh, obviously dim much better than the LED ones. I think some of the LEDs have uh, some circuitry to try to um, uh, stabilize the brightness and that kind of um, screws up the intensity control. But uh, I guess you still get a somewhat of a, of a different brightness. So that's it for this time and uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll have more, more videos coming. Thank you for watching.